what is going on youtube welcome back to the hunter call of the wild today we're on castero collins going back after the ibex the other day we we're out here on neat hunting need zones and the reason we we're doing that is to try to find diamonds respawn diamonds and i told y'all you didn't want to miss this video because today we're going to be using the bow i currently have with me the hawk edge cb60 i have the three pin sight just because i like it my goal is to only harvest one animal today off of each need zone and we're going to start as y'all can see as y'all can see we have a tree stand here and about 30 yards we have a, a need zone here so i'm going to go down change the time to of the need zone and we're going to get to hunting i'm sneaking down to my stand right now it's 9 50 the need zone ends at one and like i say you always go an hour ahead so I pretty much know that these animals should be down here or they're on their way. So I'm currently sneaking. As y'all see, we got 160 yards to go. Our stand's about right where that rock looking thing is, just right above it. All right, well, we're currently in the stand. I haven't seen none yet. We harvest them right around in this area. I didn't realize that tree was there. But we're looking at about 70 yard shot so that's my last pin is our farthest and if y'all remember right last time right where them tracks are that's glowing there that's where they came up and then they came up about 30 yards from me here so hopefully they take the same trail to this need zone and we can bag one I see it I see it I see it I'm gonna check and see if it's big Again, I don't want to shoot the first thing I see. Four easy big one. He's alert because he's kind of in our wind, but they're coming textbook. Here they come. We're gonna spray down again. I see a monster in between them trees. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like just like we wanted them. Exactly how we planned it. So it seems that it's a spawning back with a bunch of fours because if you remember why right can't even speak if you remember right we took out all the fours that was in this spot and it seems that a bunch of them has just respawned as fours which is okay because oh man he has some massive horns now they're alert i'm not sure why but it appears 80 yards out as close as the only one it's going to get. So our video ended up quitting, stopped recording. I'm not sure if I got that on film, but I missed. The arrow's right in there somewhere. I held 30 and stopped him too fast, really, and we ended up missing him. That's him, and that's not even him. He wasn't acting real spooked. That's him. Wow, he's a monster. He's not acting too spooked, so we're just going to sit here and hopefully he returns. So we had another one get downwind of us and spook, and it spooked the whole herd. He ended up, the one that was behind us was the one that winded us. So I, now that I got the measurements, we're going to try it next time. If he can, comes right up into this, 55 out, we're going to take a shot and hope for the best. So it appears they're coming off this hill right here, this little bowl in the morning. And then during the morning time, the wind's blowing all the way about right where it's at right now. So I'm thinking if I can set right up in one of these trees and face this bowl and get a good range on it, I'll probably take a couple practice shots just to make sure I know the distance. I'm thinking we can make it happen. So I'm going to get the stand put up and we're going to change the time. I'm going to change the time to 8 o'clock, which is when it first becomes active. Because I want to catch them from a distance. Because the need zone's 200 away, so by about 8 o'clock they should be poking through here to go there. Like that's our boy right there. Nope. 
He's a tentative, I'm telling you now, like they know. They definitely aren't. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Don't do it. Don't do it. Where is the one that we're after? There he is. Smoked him. I didn't want to go for a real far shot like that, but... Man, just just the way that the wind was and stuff, it, it was just bound to happen, y'all. We had terrible wind, as y'all can see. I mean, it didn't switch much from when we got here. Our plan came together, though. It's 8.34. We've been sitting here the whole time, and they just now come over the hill. Let's go look at him. So we got a non-organ hit, which is a pretty decent hit, but it definitely ain't what we're looking for. There's still a female there, or is that a yeah, small male? Definitely ain't what we're looking for, but it will take him down. Well, he never went real far. He went maybe, maybe 70 yards. Let's take a look. We ended up hitting him high neck, which was our mid pin was high neck. He was only 52. I thought he was around 60. So I held the mid pin about where his neck was when I should have held it just a little lower. He wasn't, he would have been a gold, just barely making gold. I thought he was going to be close to diamond. So he's not super big. He's not super big, but I'm happy with him. So now we're going to go for the Besidi Ibex. It starts at 8 to 11.30. We have it, we're in a stand. It's two minutes before it starts. Our wind's once again blowing right into the face of them. I tried to put a stand in that tree right there, but apparently you can't. It looks like we got a few mufflon running around there. Nothing too crazy. All right, y'all. These are coming. But I've been looking, and this says Iberian Mufflon, but I thought it said Basidi Ibex. It could be just a bug right now. They, they could be coming in. I'm not sure, but we're going to sit here and see because this is what we came here for. So now that I'm spotting them, it says that they're drinking. Which one is a big four easy in the middle, which he's way too far for our bow. And that's about the nearest place we could get out of a tree stand. But we have another one that's approaching us. He's about 105 out. So we're definitely going to take whatever one we can. If only the four easy would do that. Guys, guys, guys. We are right in the water zone. Them, that's our water zone. We're right in the water zone. Perfect, perfect. But it just, it's its terrible that he's 60 out. Which I know for a fact that's my bottom pin. And we got terrible wind, so if he'll give us another chance. We got perfect wind at him. I wouldn't want to take that. This was perfect. We had one that, two that came in perfect. But it seems like we just keep getting bad setups on him. He's at 79, which is the red pen directly on his body. So let's try if he holds right there. Kind of turn, I'm gonna spray again. He's not spooking, which is good, and we had just saw so many other ones, so at least we know there's definitely more, which right there are some of them. That's I'd be enough on. Giant. Giant, giant, snuck right in behind us. He's drinking. Let's get one more range on him. <laughs> it's gonna work. I can't believe it. 32. 
That's our middle pin. That's this east to the left here. We're gonna let him. This is perfect. I can't believe it. I thought it was just gonna fail. I'm just like, it's not gonna happen. As y'all can see, it happened. So I don't think he's ever gonna turn. So we're just gonna. Full drop them. Beautiful heart shot. Let's just look around. There's the one that was coming in first. He's now that one. There's only three. That actually worked, y'all. I was sitting here having my doubts. I was like, this ain't gonna work. And uh, once all the animals started fleeing, you know, textbook, they all ran. I'm just shocked that we actually got it. I don't care that he wasn't a five medium. We pulled it off. Perfect heart shot at 33 yards. We pulled it off. That is insane. And he is a brute. So he was way off from being diamond, but we'll take him. And I had plenty of time to see if there was a five medium around. And there wasn't, but we did spawn some more four easies. So that's good. And I think we may have just took the biggest one out of that herd. So for the last hunt of the day, we're going to go after the Ronda Ibex. We're going to be hunting a bed zone this time. And it starts from 11 and it ends at 1730. So let's get after it. So that tripod stand right there is actually from a while back. This ain't a spot that we did on the need zone hunting video. This is just a spot that I did a long time ago with a rifle. Just saw some movement in between these trees. Here they come, here they come. Monster. Here they come. Perfect wind, y'all. Perfect wind. Monster. Look at the size of him. Monster. The other one seems to be a three. Just from experience, the five medium is usually the very last one that will show. And they ended up bedding down way out there, 180. Our original need zone 70 out, but y'all can see he, he decided he wanted to go out there and lay down. Well, I've been watching them for a minute haven't seen no more so due to the fact they're so far we're going to try to go in and spot and stock on them and see if we can harvest the four if not we're just going to go for one of the other ones because all the other ones are level threes and if we can just get rid of one of them again they make return as a diamond they're all moving they're going more to my left. No, 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 down, down. Right on us. I had to take the shot. We got him right as he tried to run. We got him right as he tried to run. I'm not sure how big he is. But we definitely got him. And I think the other spooked. Wow. I hope it's a male. Let's take a look at him. It is a male. We double lunged him at nine yards. We got him as he was about to run insane and i really enjoyed that hunt it's been a long time since i've got out on this game and just straight bow hunted i really hope y'all enjoyed it i know i did it's more of just a slower pace and me running around with a gun it really brings out the know what you're doing in you but with that I hope each and every one of you enjoyed we'll see you next time